look what I've got now. I've got a Kona Fire Mountain. 2015-ish. Uh, aluminium, double butted. Um, Diori gears. Uh, they haven't got mountain bike tyres, but they have got fairly good Schwalbe tyres. Trivantiv crank. Marzocchi, um, not bomber, but Marzocchi forks, which are pretty smooth, I tell you. And I haven't even tweaked anything yet. You've got a Kona stem, you've got the original Kona seat. Um, and... It works perfectly. I've just taken it for a ride. I haven't done a thing to it yet, so it's got rusty bolts and, um, you know, brakes and stuff look a, a bit grubby and the handlebars are a bit narrow. But apart from that, it's absolutely perfect. And guess what? It costs £65. I got him down from 100 to 65 So I think I, I should be able to turn a profit on this one if I turn this one around. What do you think to this? Yeah, just to continue... It's not bad. It's not bad. It's an 18 inch and it feels like maybe a bit small for me, but I thought an 18 inch was big normally because I usually get like 17 inch frames, but I don't know. It's weird. Um, I can't quite work it out if it feels small or normal. It might be the handlebars that are so weird and angled towards me perhaps. I don't know. But anyway... I'll clean it all up and uh, either I'll like it a lot and I'll do it up properly or I'll sell it on for maybe 20 or 30 quid profit. But yeah, it all works well. I've just ridden it. No no bangs, no creaks, no wobbles. Everything works. The brakes are not very good, but that's because they're not, you know, not good um, hydraulic brakes. They're just the cable brakes, so they're actually no better. In fact, they might even be worse than V-brakes. But these have got the V-brakes mountings if you want to retrospectively put v-brakes on it so i might have a look at that but anyway yeah for a quick turnaround and maybe a bit of a profit and the fun doing it it might be just a perfect sort you can't go wrong at 65 quid and also the frame is nowhere near as bad as the last one with chips and bangs and things so should be good i've taken all the paraphernalia off it all the reflectors and chain guards and old trip computers and tape and pedal clips and things like that that weighs a few uh, kilograms and i've given it a once over just with degreaser degreaser and a detailing brush has already brought a lot of the uh, components up and the frame's looking pretty good a few touch-ups but uh, Onward and upward. Here's a good reason to get rid of all that clutter that's on your bike. Old reflectors, tape, um, bells, uh, toe straps, old um, mileage markers, uh, computer type things, brackets. All that little clutter has nearly got 300 gr uh, grams off that bike. 300 grams might not sound a lot, but it is you know, reasonably significant. So strip your bike down to the bare minimum. All right, strip the wheels back. Taking the back wheel off, which I found a broken spoke, which I know where it comes from, and I'll be able to refit that. Now I've got the sprocket off. Wash the sprocket with degreaser and the trusty brushes, and it's come up pretty clean. Right, we've got the bike stripped and i've put the wheel back in because i've had to replace a spoke here and there's a big uh buckle in this wheel and i think somebody's had some sort of an impact and it's snapped the spoke deeply gouged another two spokes and made this bang 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 right there so I'm going to have to correct that using my trusty toolbox and my spoke tightener. And you tighten the areas that are slack over here and where the bulge is, you 
tighten them so that the bulge is corrected this way. So if the bulge is coming out that way, you tighten the spokes that pull it from this side back over this way. Good luck to me. Well, the uh, truing up of the wheel worked out fairly well, just using my key, um, tightening or undoing different sides. Um, when you spin it now, it's good enough for me. Right, the bottom bracket is coming out. Fold a bit sticky, not very smooth running, so I thought I'd just take it out and see what's happening in there. Well, the, nice and clean now, threaded, um, nice and clean threads, put some uh, Auto sol in there and give it a good scrub and now I'm gonna grease it and put the crank back on Okay, top tip When you want to get your frame looking good or even some of the components get yourself some T-cut or color magic or one of those grinding compounds simple drill with a pad on it and you just basically use your drill um, instead of using elbow grease because the drill goes around thousands of times in the space of a few minutes whereas your arm will wear itself out and you can get really good results because it grinds down through the top coat just a fraction of a millimeter to reveal ultra shiny paintwork underneath um, and a fraction of the elbow grease. Okay, the chain has been soaked in uh, rust remover and it's got it pretty good. Now I'm going to go over it with uh, a wire brush and um, some autosol to polish that surface up even more. Okay, with a bit of elbow grease uh, the chain came up pretty good. It just goes to show you, you don't need to head out and buy a new chain every time it looks rusty you can quite easily clean it up 